Okay, Thursday was Bastille Day, which is the huge national holiday in France, and we all met outside the residence at 12.30, which is after the Harry Potter screening finished at 12 midnight, so we slept until about 11, and then met at 12.30 to go get some seats for the fireworks. The fireworks started at 11 p.m. on the Thursday, so we knew it was going to be a big wait. So we went to find seats, and so we got on the metro and have like two seconds of us on the metro getting close to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got to the Eiffel Tower and we walked across the bridge. Like we got off across the street from the Eiffel Tower and walked across the bridge to the Eiffel Tower. And then there was a stage set up on one side, so we went on the stair of the stage. And it's in the middle of the day and the sun's hot and we got there about 2, 2.30. And it was going to be a big wait, so we all sat down on the floor and got really good seats. And basically, we had nine hours to kill because they started at 11 and we were there at 2. So we played, and we I've got some footage of like different times of the day of the Apple Tower. So here's some footage of it at the beginning of the day when we got there at 2. And then I got to evening. And then it started sparkling. fireworks happened. Unique and magical performance. Tonight, let the show begin. Like, that's all we did. And then, but getting home was a mission and a half. So, the fireworks finished by about quarter to twelve, and we needed to get onto a metro to get home to the university. So, we <laughs> tried to get on the metro, but all the metro stops are closed close to the Eiffel Tower, so we had to walk and walk and walk and walk. And then we found a metro and got on, huge lines, completely packed. Got on the metro, we had to go a few stops and then change trains. So, we got on, got on the few stops, changed trains. And then the metro closes at 1, so the whole place closes at 1, so if you're not past the gate at 1, you're out. So we got in, ran to transfer the thing, and we got to the stop at 102, and it was closed. A whole, bunch of us, oops, sorry, a whole bunch of us missed out on getting into the next metro, so we had to find a way out of the metro terminal, and there's all, all police and stuff, so you can't get through. Um, we had to get out of the metro terminal and find some cabs, there was 12 of us, so we had to get like, a full separate cab to get back to the university. Um, so by the time we got back, it was about 2 a.m. It was huge. <laughs> it was a mission and a half to get 12 people back to the university. But I've got to say, overall, the fireworks were pretty much worth it. It was really funny. But yeah, it was a pretty good day, actually, to be honest. 
But the bad thing also this morning we had class. So we had to be there at 10 for um, Alexander's second half of his lecture. So <laughs> it was a mission. <laughs> okay, see you, see you later.